<laughs> Welcome again to the world of Larry Titanium Hardy. It's been a while, a couple months, but I'm still here. Working this little post down Dundalk. Things have changed the last couple months. What can I say? Got a few knickknacks. Had to pretty much get the fuck up out of my job real quick. Life can change in the drop of a dime. His white boy came in and, uh, I was getting out the box with me and my young co-worker. As my head say, boom. Things happened, things were said. I don't condone this type of behavior. But nonetheless, it happened. Uh, I was getting tired anyway. But I wasn't going to have these guys investigate me. So... This week will be my last night as an MT police. Each day will be my last day. Starting tomorrow. Last day will be next Sunday. Then I'll be officially retired. But I'll be kind of I'll be kind of retired the last month, to be totally honest with you. This incident happened February the 23rd. About 12.45. And look it up on Twitter. <sighs> These are things that happen to a black man, even still to these days. It happens, you gotta deal with them and go for it. Which I have. Which anybody know me, I go for it. I'm not gonna sit and cry with fucking spilled milk. So when I was out, I started doing a few things. Rode my bike once, it'd be a little bit more better with that. Started exercise with yoga. I kinda like that. Been a little busy last week. So I need to get back into that. It's actually pretty busy being yo, being in too retired. It's, you know, you sleep a little bit, and before you know it, you gotta do this and this, and before you know it, you into the the evening part of your day. I love it though. I have a meal coming up tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Bistro nine point eight five. So I'm feeling quite well. My last two or three bistros is pretty much been canceled November, December, and January. So, February was a wash. I'm back up it again March the 25th. The return of the Tarkanian chef, I like to say. Also, looking to do my vending. So, I'm at to my pre-retirement festivities. Uh, hopefully, I get this event. It's in Rice's Town. I already paid my money. Got a few little knickknacks with paperwork and stuff like that, and then I'll be good. It'll be my first event. Looking for 800 to 1,000 people. And I'm really looking forward to that. And also, my dream is still good for my shuttle service. So I want to just do little, little cutesy trips with couples and football trips and, you know, little things like that. So... Hopefully things will work out. If it doesn't, I can never say I haven't tried. So you got to have goals in your life. You live day by day, have a goal, and you just try your best. Home life has been up and down. The wife has been getting on my nerves. Everybody else has been cool with my son. You know, everything's good with that. Yeah, battle here, battle that. My wife is a person who likes to, I guess she likes to not be told what to do, even though it's the right thing to do. So these things become a battle of wills. But my will is correct, and I will not lose. My wife knows this. She has a hard time dealing with these things. I don't call myself alpha male for nothing. She calls herself a top level bitch or whatever this and that. But at the end of the day, your will will bend to me. 
most people will will also. I think it's like that when you uh just the type of person I am. I'm a good person, I'm a fair person. But I can go the other way too. Next thing I want to talk about is just my post career. I'm happy as here. Do my little security thing, which I'm doing right now. I'm down Dundalk now. A little pissed off. They kind of took me off um, Pratt Street. Got a few feelings about that, but it is what it is. Life is not meant to be fair. It's a constant change of things, especially in my old thing with security. One day you the talk of the town, next day they find your ass for no ungodly reason. There's no, nothing you can do about it. Y'all take the bitter with the sweet. I know how this game work, but also I want my own shit. You feel me? That I make my own goddamn schedule. And to make the money I want to make. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that'd be one of my goals also. Let's talk about my exes. My wife seems to have a problem with my exes. I honestly don't. They're just people and friends to me. But I don't understand what she's talking about. And like I told her, I don't give a fuck about your exes. I know you don't want to fuck them. But well, Larry, you fucked them. Yeah, well, yeah, I did, you know. Yes, I did. But that's a long time ago. We need to let bygones be bygones. Yes. And you forgave me for these things. I've been a good man. Yes, I have. I told my wife to look me in the fucking eye. She couldn't do it. Because she don't fucking well. And I'm not playing on her ass. So what else do you have, Karen, but a bunch of bullshit? Oh, Larry, don't talk to me that way. You're so disrespectful, Larry. I'm like, Karen, I'm just telling the fucking truth. Before, you could have that on me. Now you don't. So, I'm going to say this. I don't give a fuck about my ex-friends. They're just friends, you know? I don't want to have a date with them. If they treat me good, I'll treat them good. I don't want to fuck them anymore. That's it. I don't want to fuck anybody else no more. This happens when you get to my distinguished age of 51. You can tell a lot of other things for your family. You don't think about pussy anymore. That's just how it is. You also get tired of arguing. Especially with your fucking wife. You know? But you love your wife though. But I'm not going to take my wife's shit though. I'm not going to do it. She has her life. And I have my fucking life. No one is going to bend my fucking will and make me feel like shit. That's just who the fuck I am. The wife, the daughter, the son, anybody. You try to make me feel like shit, I'm going to make them feel like shit also. This is just the way it's going to be. I'll sprinkle a little for, uh, sports in here now. The Ravens. Now well, they got a couple additions. I agree with they done. Got rid of that bum ass Mosley. The bum ass Weddle. And you know, they got rid of Suggs. Brought in a couple, some new talent. Brought in uh, the running back. Ingram and they brought in safety. Earl Thomas. Cleveland has a killer team. Still, you have the rollerballs out there. And I like about the Wavens. Bend your will. You have to play man on man, man on one football. Period. They're not going to give you anything. You have to take it from the Ravens. 
And that's my spiel with football. So going forward, tomorrow's my bistro. I'm sold out. A few more things I got to do. Let it be done. And it's on to my next accomplishment. Got to have accomplishments in life. Whatever you accomplish, ask yourself in that mirror. The one who's looking at this. Have you accomplished anything? Anything. Have you set a goal and accomplished things? This was Larry Titanium has done. I look at things, I want things, and I put in the fucking work. And so my wife, she was hating on me because I'm retired. I said, Karen, I've been busting my ass since six days after I graduated from high school. And it's time for me to get my fucking props before I fucking die off this earth. So, I think she's starting to get used to it. Because if you don't, I just shut her ass down and make her look stupid. I'm starting. Son has a baby coming on. He's starting to accept the. He's ready. He's accepting it. I'm cool with it. I don't like how it was done with the young lady, but at the end of the day, my son made a mistake too. They still cool. Seems that they're gonna raise this baby together. It's not the ideal situation, but most in most situations when you bring a baby in, it's not ideal. So. That being said, I think they'd be okay. Behind all my son's bullshit, he's a good person. You know, he will do the right thing. You know? So, my daughter is doing great. I love what my daughter's becoming. You know? My brother's doing great. My family's doing it. My sister is doing awesome. What I love about my sister, you call her. If she can do anything, she's going to do anything. That's what I'm saying about people. That's how I am. That's the way I was raised. A lot of people are not like that. They don't try to help one another. I feel as though when you help one another, when you come back, you never know when you need that person. So try to lift everybody. No matter the damn race, the color, anything. One thing I got a problem with racist people. I don't care who they are. White. African motherfuckers. Because they hate black people. Asians. Jewish people. Humans can sniff. Of a human's. Spirit. Boom. And there you go right there. It doesn't matter what color you are. It's your spirit. You know, I think certain white men have a propensity to have an uppity attitude, especially towards black men. Me, myself, I don't fucking like that. Because I'm going to treat you like a man. If you try to treat me unlike a man, I'm going to make you feel unlike a man. That's how I'm going to make you feel. So... You didn't treat me like the ultimate fucking man. Like you treat the other fucking white man. Wherever you go. That's how you gonna fucking treat me. I don't care what color I am. Japanese, white. You give motherfuckers respect. Period. It means a lot to me. Well. That's about all I gotta say now. I think I had a chest from my other head. Was boom. Then another one. With about seven or eight hats now. This one is called the police. I bought this hat. I work my details. There's a certain class about it. When people look at it. They say that's a nice hat. It senses strong. The Russians. Then you have your little thing on there. It's you too. It's you. Boom. The police.
police, titanium, Barishnikov, alpha male. Good evening, Abby. Good evening. See you guys to the next. This is Larry. The Titanium Hardy. Session number 07. The Reawakening. Carry him to the forefront of his other life. I'm out.